Joby becomes first to fly in Korea's KUAM Grand Challenge. Joby's electric air taxi has become the first aircraft to perform demonstration flights in Gohang, Korea, as part of the country's KUAM Grand Challenge designed to support the commercialization of air taxis in Korea. Santa Cruz, California, and Gohang, South Korea, Business Wire, Joby Aviation Incorporated, a company developing electric air taxis for commercial passenger service, today announced that it has successfully completed a series of flight tests in Korea as part of the KUAM Grand Challenge. Joby has become the first electric air taxi company to complete flights under the program launched by the Korean Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport, MOLET, in 2023 to support the commercialization of air taxis in the Korean market. Joby successfully completed a series of missions over a week that demonstrated a variety of flight profiles and conditions, including a full-wing flight. Joby has also demonstrated its ability to collaborate with potential Korean partners on aircraft operations ahead of future commercialization in the country. Joby founder and CEO Joe Ben Bevert said, Completing our first flights in Korea represents a significant milestone in our path to launching operations in the Korean market. Our service has incredible potential to save people time and improve connectivity in densely populated cities like Seoul and more remote areas where natural barriers make ground transportation difficult such as Jeju Province. Joby is participating in the Grand Challenge as part of the KUAM Dream Team, a consortium including SK Telecom, Hanwha Systems, TMAP and Korea Airports Corporation, which operates the vast majority of airports in Korea. Joby Aviation, together with the KUAM Dream Team, including SKT, is showcasing the next generation of world-leading aviation capabilities through the Grand Challenge by combining world-class EVTOL aircraft with Korean Industries Flight Control, Traffic Management and Vertical Port Operations Technology, said Hyung Pil Jun, Vice Minister of the Mobility and Motor Vehicles Bureau of the Korean Government. The flights, which were completed at the Gohang Aeronautical Test Center in South Jiala Province, will culminate in a celebration event hosted by Mollet on December 14. The event will showcase the quiet acoustic footprint of Joby's aircraft in front of more than 200 guests, including representatives of Korean and U.S. government agencies. Joby continues to lead the air taxi industry in its pursuit of certification of its electric air taxi by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and recently rolled out its fourth production prototype aircraft from the company's production line in Marina, California. Korea is the third country where Joby has received airworthiness certification for demonstration and flight testing, following similar approvals in the U.S. and Japan. The Joby Electric Air Taxi is designed to carry a pilot and four passengers at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, offering high-speed mobility and zero operating emissions with a fraction of the noise produced by helicopters.